morning, Combs. It's a beautiful morning. It is a disappointing morning, Watson. Here I am, Sherlock Combs, the greatest detective in Accra, and I have no mysteries to solve. Ah, but you have already solved so many cases. Remember the mystery of the disappearing dog? You found a treasure at the National Theatre, and you even solved the mystery of the terrible traffic. Yes, 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 but those are all in the past. I need something new and interesting. Something that will. Quick, Watson, the door. It must be a new client. Good morning, gentlemen. My name is Grace. You must be Mr. Combs. At your service. Allow me to introduce my trusted associate, Dr. Watson. How can we help you? Oh, Mr. Combs, I've come to tell you about a most shocking event. It is quite a mystery. <laughs> I think I'm going to faint. Please, please, have a seat. Tell us more. <sighs> well, you see, Mr. Combs, I'm a student at the university. My professor has been working for years on building the perfect light bulb. This light bulb will be quite better than any other light bulb in the world. As soon as the professor gave the bulb to the student, he brought it. Ah, uh, excuse me, Grace. You may not know this, but breaking a light bulb is not a crime. Indeed it is not. And it's not a very good mystery either, since you've simply told us who did it. Oh, wait! There's more! This is where the mystery comes in. You see, the professor didn't say anything. He just went back to work to build another bulb. It was months before it was finished. But as soon as it was done, guess what he did? He put it in himself. No! He gave it back to the student who dropped it to put it in. Oh, Mr. Combs, why would the professor do that? Unusual indeed. I smell a mystery. No need to fear. Sherlock Combs is here. But this is elementary, Sherlock. He must have memory loss. He simply forgot that his student broke his bar. Wrong, Watson. If he were so forgetful, how did he remember how to rebuild the bulb in the first place? Well, maybe the professor had poor eyesight. He couldn't see who he was giving it to. No, 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 that's not it. There's something bigger in play here. I believe we must go to the crime scene to investigate. Aha, the scene of the crime. Come, Watson, we must look for clues. Aha! A clue, Watson. This man attended church. Oh, yes. Professor is always in church. Hmm. Interesting. Aha! I found another clue, Watson. A Bible in the professor's desk. That's not a clue. That's a book. Wrong, Watson. This is the most important book in the world. We can deduce everything that the professor did from this book. You mean his mysterious behavior was because of forgiveness? More than that. Hmm. Was it because of mercy? No, that's not it. Hmm. Aha! I have it! Grace! Yes? No, not you, Grace. I mean God's grace. God has something named Grace? Is it a pet? <sighs> no, Watson, look up the definition for Grace. Down. Uh, wait, definition. Quickly, man, we don't have all day. Ah! Grace is something that we do not earn or deserve. It is God's free favor and blessings given to us even though we are sinners. So you mean that the professor showed grace to his student by giving him a second chance, even when he didn't deserve it? Exactly. Just like when God shows us favor when we don't deserve it. 
Well, Holmes, another mystery solved. Grace is a kind of mystery, but it definitely is amazing. Thank you. Elementary, my dear Watson. Elementary. <laughs>